be a regular occurrence now, but Nintendo has held another indie showcase which is designed to reveal some brand new and exciting indie games for the world, but also as usual, some have been announced and released right away, including one game you really shouldn't miss. Yes, one of the biggest and nicest surprises was the reveal of Fez, one of the games that kind of led the indie charge way back when, offering incredible pixel art stylings along with truly genius puzzle design. This is one of those games that will require you to get a pen and paper out to make notes, and it's available right now on Switch for just under $15. But remarkably, Fez probably wasn't the biggest reveal. No, that was left to Night School Studio, who revealed a sequel to Oxenfree subtitled Lost Signals. The original game offered some unique ways of delivering dialogue that felt natural in a way that few games have actually achieved since. The sequel includes an all-new cast of characters for another supernatural mystery. That said, there will be plenty of people who are even more excited for the third game in the Oli Oli series. When skateboarding games were completely out of fashion and nobody was making them, developer Roll7 were making the Oli Oli games, which had a new take on the genre and were, quite simply, brilliant. This new game looks bigger than ever before and is being published by Private Division, a subsidiary of 2K Games, and it's called Oli Oli World. Elsewhere, a raft of games that were probably known about but were also announced here for Switch, such as the exciting looking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge from the people behind Streets of Rage 4, and it was also really nice to see the lovely looking Art of Rally announced for Switch which is coming sometime in the summer. Also of note was the full reveal of a remake of The House of the Dead. Yes, the classic arcade rail shooter is back, apparently with gameplay changes, but also retaining the multiplayer elements so you can take on the undead armies with your friends. And this one is coming to Switch later this year. So it's a pretty good showing all in all, and there's plenty of other titles that were announced, but those are your biggest hitters for now. And for more on all things Nintendo and everything else in gaming, head to NME.com.